Good morning guys. So I'm literally sitting on top of my car right now because I have just found the most beautiful view. So I thought I'd get the drone up whilst I'm here. But this weekend, as I mentioned, I am back on the coast, which I'm so excited for because I love the beach. But I am once again back down in the Flurio, I believe it is called. I think I finally figured it out, the Flurio Peninsula. So I'm going to be hitting a few of the spots that I missed out on, starting here at the Maiponga Beach, I think it is. So let me get the drone up here. I'll show you guys this and then I will be heading over to find some rock pools and then I'm camping out I believe in the Deep Creek National Park where I will be going to the Blowhole Beach tomorrow as well so stay tuned let's get straight into this and hopefully we can see some pretty incredible things this weekend. <music> All right, in true Sarah fashion, I have decided to change my plan entirely. So the goal for today was to get out to the rock pools. However, I realized that tomorrow is actually gonna be a little bit hotter. So I thought it would be a lot smarter for me to smash out the hikes today. And then tomorrow I can just focus on relaxing by the water. So right now I've come out to the blowhole beach again. So take two, we're gonna try and hike down to this beach. It is three kilometers in total and should take me potentially like, well, it says ETA two and a half hours, but we'll see how quickly we can get it done in. Guys, would you look at that view? So I thought while I was here, I could show you guys the actual four-wheel drive track. So if you didn't watch my last video, I believe it was two videos back, there is a four-wheel drive track to get down to Blowhole Beach, but it was potentially on the harder side of things given that I didn't have the right recovery gear, so I decided against it, but I'm just watching a couple of cars go up there now. Now one of my favorite parts about Blowhole Beach is that there is so much that you can do here. So not only is the water perfect for surfing and swimming and fishing, but you can also continue the hike from the car park and continue up to Cobbler Hill where I am now. And honestly, this is by far some of the best views that I have come across. It was so beautiful and there was no one else up here. So I had the entire area to myself. So do highly recommend add on this little bit of an extra hike because it is so worth it. And then you can always stop and go for a swim afterwards. I'm honestly so ashamed to say how hard that was to hike back up. It was way harder than I thought and I just like fully overexerted myself. I really need to stop hiking in the middle of the day. I think I forget that it is not like freezing cold weather anymore. So either way, I'm just sitting in my car, just enjoying the air con at the moment, but I'm gonna head straight to my campsite set up. And then there was one more hike I wanted to get to today that actually starts from the campsite. So I think I'll just like let myself recover for a little bit and I'll see how I'm feeling for the rest of the day.
All right, so I got to my campsite and I set up. I was feeling pretty good. So I was like, let's just get this hike done and dusted. It is four kilometers and I did walk from my campsite. So that was probably an extra maybe four to 500 meters. So shouldn't take me too long. It is a little bit cooler in the day, thankfully. I honestly don't know what happened to me earlier. I actually felt like I was going to faint and that's not something that typically happens to me when I go on hikes. So I was a little bit taken back by it, but that's fine. We got through it, I had a little snack. Now we're good. So let's get to this hike. It is a beautiful waterfall at the end. And I hope anyway, but let's check it out. My campsite for the weekend was the Tree Campsite in the Deep Creek National Park. This spot was honestly so easy to book and so incredible. And after I was all set up, I got some beautiful food cooked up and clearly I wasn't the only one who thought it smelled amazing because there was this local fox that was effectively just kind of scoping me out, seeing if there was any leftover food lying around, which was pretty cool. Good morning guys. As promised, I am on the hunt for some rock pools today. So I've come out to the Karakalinga beach, I believe it is. So you effectively want to park at the lookout and then you just follow this really cool trail along the cliff, which is honestly so beautiful. And apparently there are some rock pools. Now it was about peak high tide an hour ago. So I might potentially have to wait it out a little bit, but so far I can already see a couple of small ones. So let's see what we can find. I don't know if you guys can see that far ahead, but there is like a little rock pool right there, but I'm sure I'm gonna find a couple more along here as well. All right, I'm gonna try my luck with that one I just spotted. So let's see if we can get down here. This is definitely my rock pool for today. This is where I'll be chilling, but I'm still gonna give it another maybe 30 minutes to an hour before I jump in, just in case there is any rogue waves that come through. I definitely don't wanna be that one person that gets like in a stupid situation that could have been avoided, but we'll just keep an eye on it and then I'm just gonna relax here. That beach you just saw was a little bit of a secret beach. Some guy just gave me a little bit of a hot tip how to get down there. So I'm just kind of scaling across some rocks to get down. Now guys, I know I always tag locations when I'm visiting them, but I literally cannot tag this location because it doesn't have a name. So it looks like the locals call it a little bit of a secret cove, but it is located at Karakalinga Beach. So you literally just have to hike about 10 minutes from the car park, followed by a potential like two minute rock climb over to the beach. But it is so worth it because there was honestly barely anyone at this beach and the water was so clear. All right guys, so I just made it back to my car and honestly that beach was so perfect. I'm glad that I was able to stumble across that one, but I am going to have some lunch and then I'm actually gonna wrap up this video here because I honestly just wanna go and chill on that beach behind me for the rest of the day and I just don't think that's gonna make good content. So as always, thank you so much for following along and hopefully I can bring you guys some more cool places next weekend, although naturally I've not planned ahead, so we'll see where we end up. Mm -hmm.